Welcome to Beneath the Mango Tree. Today we're reading Sumahi and the Karabao, written by Michael Luhan Bavakwa, illustrated by Jack Luhan Bavakwa, read for you by Andrew Gumatautau. This book comes with both English and Chamorro translations. Today we'll be reading in English. If you have a copy, grab it and read along. Every Wednesday, Sumahi visits Mr. Ogun's Karabao at the Tsumoru village and goes for a ride or two. Biba! The Karabao is named Etsung. Sumahi loves taking rides on him because he always has such great stories to tell. Most Karabaos are stuck in fields, but not Etsung. He always welcomes Sumahi with a happy off a day and shares with her some story about Karabaos and their life on Guam. Off a day! Sumahi heard about the first Karabaos who came to Guam, the Tao family. They were brought to the island from the Philippines to plow farmers' fields. Sumahi heard about Kilili, who was either the least or most lucky Karabao on Guam. Long ago, a powerful typhoon swept Kilili into the air and carried him all the way to Rhoda. He returned to Guam a month later, claiming he had swam home. Sumahi heard the story of how the Karabao and the cow accidentally switched their skins while bathing. <laughs> As a result, the skin of the Karabao is very tight and the cow skin is very loose. Sumahi heard the story of Nano, a small but courageous Karabao who helped Sumahi the Lemai princess Defeat Amang, the king of the Azuzu. Mm -hmm. Sumahi heard the story of Ramon, a poor little Karabao who was taken to San Diego after World War II and put on exhibit in the zoo there. Benti uno zumi presu. Sumahi heard the stories of Lumi, the leader of the largest wild herd of Karabao at Fena Lake, who was well known for having her herd ruin military training exercises taking place in the jungle there. Honk. Press. Toot, 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 toot. Sumahi heard the story of Pikaru a Karabao from Tamuning, who became infamous for sneaking into movie theaters just to watch cowboy movies. During one film, he made it all the way to the credits before anyone noticed. Sumahi heard the story of Pulan, a valiant Karabao, who in the darkest days of World War II on Guam, helped round up hundreds of stray Karabao and get them to safety away from all the bullets and bombs. Estimagi! Sumai heard the story of Maria, the Karabao sidekick of Guam's 19th century folk hero, Juan Malu. Together, the two of them found an endless number of ways of making fools out of the Spanish on island. Sumahi heard the stories of Ramaldo, who in his day was so famous as the fastest Karabao on island that he would travel from village to village for the fiestas and challenge Karabaos everywhere to races. He was so fast that it was said he could outrun the slowest horse on island.
Sumai heard the story of Jason, the Karabao, who was chosen by the Guam Visitors Bureau to be the model for all the painted Karabao sculptures that you can find around island landmarks and businesses. After hearing her story for the night and riding around in circles for a few minutes, Sumahi's Karabao adventure is over. Each week, once Etsung stops, she looks to her father with sad but cute eyes and always says the same thing. Gof malagu tu estina baobao. Usually her father laughs and says, Ahi, but tonight he smiles and says, Hungan. Sumahi's eyes light up as she imagines having her own karabao and all the fun and exciting things that she would do with it. Gahu Baobasti. If you enjoyed Sumahi and the Karabao, you can purchase your own copy at theguambus.com. See Jus Maasi for listening to Beneath the Mango Tree. And don't forget to subscribe below and hit the bell for new content notifications. <laughs>